If you want to stop obsessing over someone, here are two powerful techniques that you can use to do that. And I will explain what obsession is and how to get over it. So first of all, obsession is the intense desire for something that you don't currently have, but you have this hope for a future of possibility. And the main hormone involved in obsession is dopamine. And while dopamine is a hormone that makes you want more and makes you dissatisfied with what you currently have, serotonin and oxytocin are hormones that appear in healthy relationships and they make you satisfied with your current situation and don't make you want more than that. So the first thing that I want you to do is I want you to accept that you're obsessed with them. When you're denying your obsession, when you're thinking, oh, I shouldn't be thinking about them, I shouldn't be texting them, you're just turning them into this juicy forbidden fruit that just becomes more appealing. So you actually grow your obsession by trying not to be obsessed. I want you to consume that obsession, that hope, that uncertainty that there is around that person. And you can do this by getting to actually know them better and taking them off the damn pedestal and seeing them as a human being seeing them flawed, seeing them for who they truly are instead of this unicorn that you formed in your imagination. Once there is no more mystery around that person because you get to know them better, that charm and enchantment will disappear. And second, and this is the most important thing, I want you to notice why you are obsessed with that specific person. What qualities do they have that make you so attracted to them? For instance, I was extremely obsessed with the guy because he had a really interesting life that I wanted to be part of. He had a lot of friends, he would travel, he would go out. And on the other side, I would have a pretty boring life at that time. So a breakthrough for me was realizing that I wasn't actually obsessing over the fact that I want to be in a relationship with him, but that I wanted to be him. I wanted to have those qualities. I wanted to have that life. So I started working on myself to become more charming, more confident like him, you know, the qualities that I was appreciating in him, to in making my life more interesting, forming a group of friends, traveling a lot and so on. So give yourself the things that you're attracted to and obsessing about from the other person, whether it is validation or excitement. Once you develop those qualities and that life that you were attracted to from that person, that person will not be as interesting to you anymore.